So if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're a health and fitness expert and you're thinking that you should build some kind of online presence and you want to have an opportunity to sell your services online through a digital product. That service probably is going to be an online course or a membership website. But where do you start? Which one do you pick? Which is appropriate for you? Okay, so point number one, price point. Usually an online course is something that you pay for in one lump sum or perhaps two installments and it gives you access to all of the content in one go. A membership website is usually something that you pay for on a month by month basis or you pay for an annual uh, fee which gives you access to the membership site for the entire year, maybe uh, 12 months for the price of 10. Okay, point number two, an online course usually is used if you want to cover a topic in a lot of depth. If you really want to go deep on a particular subject matter, an online course is a great way in which to do that. It's kind of like having an online encyclopedia with access to all of the information and all of the resources you need that you can access all at one point. Now some online course creators provide access to the course content in one go and others distribute it or drip the content out over a period of time. Now if we compare that to a membership website, usually a membership website has a mixture of both core content and monthly deliverables and the content is delivered month by month over a much longer period of time. Usually therefore a membership site is much better if you want to learn how to actually implement something over a longer period of time as opposed to getting a huge amount of depth um, which you would get from an online course. Okay, point number three, should you choose an online course or a membership platform for your particular service? Well, you might be that you want to use both. An online course is going to be really great if you want to provide foundational or advanced training without actual advice on how to implement that work or working with those clients one-to-one. -one. So you could offer an online course on what we would say the front end, which provides all of the information the person needs on how to do a particular thing. You could then offer a membership site on the back end to provide ongoing support to actually help somebody implement the training that you've got in the online course. A nice way to think of it would be like this. An online course is like buying a really big textbook. It's full of loads of information and if you read the textbook from front to back, you'd have all of this extra knowledge but you wouldn't actually have any experience in implementing the information in that textbook. A membership site allows you to provide ongoing support and advice whilst providing information, training, education and resources. So it gives you the opportunity to do both. Now if you're a health and fitness expert, a membership site lends itself really well to your niche because generally improvements in health and fitness are seen over a longer period of time. Therefore, a membership site is probably the most appropriate option for you for providing support to your clients because you can give them support month after month working towards a particular goal, whether that's improving their fitness or losing weight or improving their mental health, whatever model is you're using as a health and fitness expert. So you can provide upfront training resources through an online course, but you can provide ongoing support and advice through a membership platform. Okay, point number four, how much work is involved in an online course versus a membership site? Well, first things first, both of them are a lot of work. You can't just create an online course or create a membership site and expect for it to make you loads and loads of money and you can just sit back and lay on the beach in Thailand and do whatever it is you want and not actually have to put in the effort. They're both a lot of work. But with an online course, you're generally gonna to have to create all of your content upfront. Now, it may be with the online course that you're following a drip method whereby you release content, let's say, once a week over an eight week period. You might be able to get away with releasing content or creating content, I should say, week by week, but you'd probably wanna have a lot of that content built upfront just in case there were any mishaps along the way. With a membership website, you're gonna have two types of content that you're gonna deliver probably throughout your platform. You're gonna have core content. This is the content that people access when they first get on the site. It's the content that really solves the problem that they have. It's providing the solution that you offer. But you're also gonna have monthly deliverables. The monthly deliverables are extra bits of information that you're gonna have on the website, extra resources and trainings that you're gonna have available which keep people on the platform. You 
you need to provide some stuff on there that are going to keep people coming back and using your membership site again and again and again. So your monthly deliverables, deliverables sorry, might be um, Facebook groups or podcasts or interviews with experts or downloadable videos, something that you can release on a monthly basis which you can add onto the website. So with a membership website, you need to create your core content up front, but your monthly deliverables can be created on a month by month basis. With an online course, you're probably gonna to have to create most of the content up front so that you can release it when the course starts. Okay, so let's review them again. So an online course usually is providing a depth of going deep on a subject, providing lots and lots of information on a subject. It's usually released all in, in one go or drip fed over a number of weeks. You usually pay for the online course upfront in one lump sum payment, and it gives you a real deep understanding of a particular subject. Whereas a membership website is providing information over a much longer period of time. If you've set up a membership website and people can get through all of the content in one month, then they're not gonna pay for the next month. So that wouldn't be a very good membership website. So a membership website lends itself to niches where the problem that you're solving is a long-term problem. Your solution needs to be implemented over many, many months or years in order for the person to see results. So a membership website, again, is really great for health and fitness sector because your problems tend to be long-term problems. They need to be implemented over many, many months for the client to see results. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything I've covered about online courses or membership sites for health and fitness experts in this video, leave your questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.